Okay, so today you're going to be working in a group, the same period you did last week. You're going to be working on a newsletter. It's going to take you maybe, um, it's going to take you at least two days, maybe three days to do the newsletter. In your assignment, I have given you some um, suggestions for the types of articles that go in your newsletter. So I'm going to let you look over them. If you need any help, raise your hand. Please give me a shout. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to find a template. So you're here in Publisher. You see where it says Search for Online Templates? You're going to just type in Newsletter. And you're going to click or press Enter or click the little um, magnifying glass. Okay, you do not want an email newsletter because we're not going to email it. We want the regular old newsletter. So it could be a business newsletter, 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 newsletter any type of newsletter you like. The difference in these is the theme. So in this one, the theme is more into the green stuff. I view it's books, blue, other things. So this has the rounded corners. This is the um, squared edges. So just choose one. I'm just going to choose, hmm, I think I'll just choose this one because I just kind of like it green. You don't have to choose this one but I'm just going to show you how to get started with it. Okay, so then you can look at it, shows you a few more images, so you kind of know what it looks like. So we're going to click on Create. And it should have your newsletter set up for you. Okay, so then you're going to just, you can literally highlight it. So you can change it to whatever you like, whatever your newsletter name is. You choose that, so it could be... Ooh, GCMS News. Okay, so then right here, you see here, this is more information. So then here it could be more detailed. Seventh grade newsletter. You have to change the date, of course. It's not May, it's April. Right here it says replace with a logo. You can choose a logo. What you do is you click on it, you right click. You click change picture and you change the picture. And you can automatically choose from online pictures, which is pretty cool. So let's just choose some see what comes up. Well, that's pretty cool. So I kind of like this one because it's kind of different. So I'm going to put this one in there just because it's unique. And I always like something different. Okay, so the gray space over here and over here, you can use this as your working space. So what that means is, for example, um, I had the image over here that I just deleted. I could take it, if it was an image I liked, and just move it over here. Because it's not going to print anything in this gray area, but it's stuff that I can keep. Um, and I can retain in case I'd want to use it at other parts of the newsletter, but I'm going to delete that one. Okay, so your newsletter is going to come with four pages, most of them. And then you see it's already set up, it's already formatted for you, so all you have to do is put the information in there. Okay, so this should be like a quote or something. So let's say you do a um, faculty spotlight. This could be a quote from the person that you're highlighting. Here, this is an um, image. Down here, this is a photo caption. Over here, this is highlighting what's in this issue or in this newsletter. Here, this talks about the advantages of a newsletter. So this is a main title. These right here are subtitles. Go over to the next page. This is a sidebar story. So this is a story by itself. This is an image. Remember, the images have to relate to um, the text that's on the page. Here's another one. So it's really super easy. I've given you several ideas for articles. You can choose the theme. So let's go over to page design. And let's change the colors. Let's create a new color scheme. Let's say instead of the accent being green, let's say we want to make it the school colors. I'm not very good at using this. I have to use the Panatone. I just am really not good at that. Okay, so you can make the accents yellow. Um, hyperlinks, 
our blue followed hyperlink, meaning someone has clicked on it. If someone has clicked on it, then it's going to turn purple. Um, you see where it says accent three. This one is a brown and accent two. So see, it kind of changes it for you. Then you can go in here and you can change this text to black. So it's a bigger contrast. You can change this text as well to black. So let's go back to page design. Let's go back to our custom. Oh, custom two. Well, let's go to fonts. We'll go to font scheme options. Uh, no. So there is a way to change the color of the text, just like the color scheme of text. Create new font scheme. No, the font scheme is the way that this, the fonts that are in here. So it, there's no easy way to change it in this document. You just go through and you change each one of them to black. This is pretty easy. Okay, so I've given you some great ideas for articles. Um, if you have any questions, any at all, you are working with your partner from last time. So I do suggest that you um, create a shared drive in your Google Drive and you're going to share that with your partner. I'm going to show the class how to do it collectively so that if your partner is not here, then you can work on it. Um, but beware, two of you cannot work in the same document at the same time. Publisher is not designed that way. So please remember, only one person can work in it at a time. The other um, student can do the articles, put them in the shared folder, and then um, you should be able to just copy them and paste them into the document. So it's a really neat assignment. It's a pretty fun assignment. So be very creative and have fun with it. And uh, hope you have a great day.